after the rise of AI content creation has become easier than you think. Now you can make engaging videos within a few clicks, even if you don't have good video editing skills. You just have to select a trendy topic and make videos with AI. In this video, I am going to share a viral a niche and the, the easiest nights. method of making videos on this niche. The so, without further ado, let's dive there. in. Look at this video. It's called Reddit Story Video, and it's very easy to make this kind of video. Let's start creating. To make a video our need is a story from Reddit. Obviously, it doesn't have to literally be from Reddit. And a retention grabber like a Minecraft parkour video, subway surfers, or GTA 5 gameplay. That's all. And to make the video, today I will use only one AI tool. Before going over there, let's collect the story from Reddit. If you don't have an account on Reddit, create an account first and search for any stories subreddit. I recommend checking out one called Confession, where people post their confessions. Click on top to filter the stories to the most popular ones. Then select all time to find the best stories. You'll discover a lot of interesting ones to choose from. Some might be quite depressing. This subreddit is pretty intense. I will select this one. After selecting the story, simply copy the link. All right, our Reddit story is ready. Now it's time to create the video with this story. To do that, I will use an AI tool called Vesub. With this AI tool, you can create faceless videos in just a few clicks. To find this incredible AI tool, open a new tab or your browser and search for Vesub AI. After getting the search result, click on the first result. After coming to this page, simply click on the Get Start button from here. Now you have to create an account with your Google or email account. I will go with my Google account. After creating an account successfully, your interface will be like this one. OK, now let's have a look at the features provided by Vesub. First, you can create automatic captions for your video in more than 50 languages. Just select the video language and then upload your video. Vesub will take care of the rest. Next, with the Reddit story feature, you can convert a Reddit post to a video. You have to just enter the video length, language and the Reddit post link and Vesub will create an engaging video for you with captivating visuals, voiceover, and caption. Today, I will use this feature. All right, our next feature is AI video. With this tool, you can create high-quality videos in cinematic, 3D animation, and anime style. There are some tools in queue on this platform and will be available very soon. OK, as we are creating a Reddit story video, so click on the Reddit story tool. Now we have to enter some data. First, if you want to keep the comments on your video, then mark it. Otherwise, unmark this option. Next, select the maximum character you want to keep in your video. More characters will make your video longer, and short characters will make it shorter. After that, select the video language. Here you can make videos in more than 20 languages. After selecting the video language, paste the Reddit URL on this box. After all is set, hit the Apply Magic button. Now Vesub will analyze the Reddit post and make a video for us. And here it is, our video is ready. Let's have a look. Food chain in the 90s when I was in high school. When I was in high school, there they were in the process of phasing out denominational gift certificates. Phasing out denominational gift certificates, $10 and $25. The way it worked was if you spent more than half of the certificate, they gave you the cash back. So if you It's looking great. At the start of the video, Vesub inset a screenshot template of our post. After that, it analyzes the story and comments and creates a script and voiceover on it. Vesub also adds a Minecraft video as the background. The video is far better than the one I created last week. Now if you are satisfied with the video, simply click on the download button from here. But I am suggesting to do some customization every time to make your video great. And yes, it's super easy. First the subtitle. Here you can customize the subtitle text and stickers. If you want to change or delete any part of your video, you can do it from here. After completing the first step, come to the Styles tab. Basically, here you can customize the subtitle text style. There are two ways, customization and templates. If you want to use any templates, then you can use them from here. To use customized subtitles, come to the Customization tab. If you want to use capital letters, then turn the upper scale on. After that, set the text decoration. 
Here you can add stroke, shadow, background and brightening effects to your text. After that, set the active mode value, such as color and stokers. Then set the emoji size and position. Next, the caption text animation effect, then word display mode. I will keep it word. After that, set the text position and limits. After completing the style setting, come to the Reddit tab. Here you will find four options. First, in the content tab, you can turn on the comment images and subtitle. Next, in the voice settings, you can change the voice actor. Select the voice actor and then hit the play button to hear the preview. After finding the best voice, you can set the speed of the voiceover. If you want to use a pre-recorded voiceover, click here and upload the audio file. In the end, you can customize the script and select the comments you want to appear on the video. Next, in the video tab, you can upload a custom background video to use on your video. Vesub suggests uploading and using your own background videos. Using shared background videos could be flagged by TikTok and YouTube for duplicated content. Then in the Music tab, you can add the background music. And in the Screenshot tab, you can customize the screenshot templates. Alright, after completing the Reddit tab customization, come to the Tool tab. Here you can use custom emojis and generate custom emojis. Next, in the Advanced tab, you can export subtitles, use the Timeline Editor, and upload overlays. After that, in the Resize tab, you can set the aspect ratio of your video. And then the Logo tab. It allows you to upload and use your own brand logo on the video. OK, that's all about the video customization. Once it is completed, hit the Download button from here, and our video is ready. Let's see the result. I stole over $20,000 in a very creative way in the 90s. I worked at a fast food chain in the 90s when I was in high school. When I worked there they were in the process of phasing out denominational gift certificates. $5, $10 and $25. The way it worked was if you spent more than half of the certificate they gave you the cash back. So if you ordered $5.50 worth of food and gave them one of the $10 gift cards, they gave you the $4.50 back in cash. My manager was in charge of destroying all the existing certificates as we transitioned to the more traditional credit card looking gift cards. So my manager said he shredded the certificates like he was supposed to, but one night when I was closing I found two boxes of the gift cards tucked deep in the dry storage room. They were filled with the certificates that were supposed to be shredded. So, I scooped them up, brought them out to the dumpster in trash bags and threw them away. After we closed, I came back and recovered the back, and brought the certificates home. I counted them. There were $1,025, $1,010, and $505 certificates. None of them had expiration dates. Total haul was $40,000 in fast food certificates. My manager never said a word, he couldn't. He had reported them destroyed weeks earlier. Over the next three years my girlfriend and I toured every location in our state, and the next four states ordering food, and getting the change. We never kept track on a spreadsheet or anything, but we got good at knowing what menu items were just about half. After the first year, we started saving the change in a shoe box, and let it build. I think it's a good Reddit story video. You can make it more better. Now you have to just upload this video on TikTok or YouTube to gain quick success. Alright, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience of creating Reddit story videos with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating.